Hey guys, Stargazer1331 back once again, bringing you the second part of round five of the Seven Survival Tournament. Here we are with Jet Stingray and Crash Man, just barely scraping by a really, really tough battle for them. Let's see who they got. And look who's back again, Android 16. Android 16 and Dib. Mm, interesting combo. <laughs> Wow, just keep on counter grabbing him, you got this. Oh man, he was too short for the beam. And then in the end the wave special gets him. Good god, that was that was closer than I thought that would be. Here's round two. Oh, I just barely missed the beam. Damn, he got it, man. The, 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 the freaking counter grab spam does it. Surprisingly enough, Dim and Android 16, or should I just say Android 16, Push this to round three. Dib helped a little bit by Charlie keeping the special charge, and that was about that was about all he that was about all he could do. And of course, they, of course, they both can charge special too. Yeah, they're 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 they're, they're just pouring the hurt on him now, man. Andrew 16's already dead, and Dib is gone too. Damn, oh man. Jet Stinger and Crash Man with a freaking massive comeback right there in the third round. Take that one over Dim and Android 16. Surprisingly enough, actually, 2-1. I expected this one to be to be a flat out 2-0. But but I was wrong. Anyway, any rate, let's see, let's see what the second match will be like for them. Oh, Angela Pelty. And Spiral. Good team. If they if they can nab this one. Then that'll officially um, give, give, give them their seventh, or should they win this battle? That'll be that'll be their seventh win. Yeah, they got her. Man, not not too bad. There they go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep them pinned in the corner. They they can't they can't do a damn thing to you. Really? Why would you teleport into that spiral? You idiot! Yeah, they got her. Oh man, you could have had that. If you didn't teleport it in, 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 into that crash bomb attack, you would have had it. 
But in the end, Jet Stingray and Crash Bandicoot take that one over Spiral Angela Belty 2-0. And that, and with that said, they have now just officially secured their seventh win. It's been it's, it's been a while since we've had a team do this good. And the last time would have been back in the earlier part of the, uh, the tournament. Well, well, also, well, also, also, here comes the third battle and possibly their eighth win. All right then. Ooh, Ammonite. Ammonite and Scion. Oh my god, man! They actually got them. Wow, I thought I, I thought at first it was the other way around, but no, man. Sign and Omni take round one. Man, I didn't even pay attention. Jeez. <laughs> and rightly so, Jet Stingray and Crash May take the second round. That's it, man. And in a fight ever by Scion and Omni, they, they it wasn't enough for the mighty comeback of Jet Singer and Crashman as they take this battle overall 2-1. And that said, the third battle is now over and they now have the Wraith win. So, well, let's move on to battle number four. Blackmore. And Chester Cheetah. Very nice. Yep. Oh man, Chester Cheetah, Blackmore, round one begin. That's it, man. Near for loss victory. I think that was a flawless victory. Yeah, um, yet another flawless victory. This time by means of Jet Stingray and Crash Bandicoot, they completely storm over Blackmore and Chester Cheetah 2-0. Well, and with the fourth battle being over, they now have secured their ninth win. And with the next battle being Battle Five, that'll be the, that'll, that'll be the one third uh, that, that will now be a third of the way there to the end to the end of the end of the not only this round but this crazy tournament. And and that let's see what'll happen for Battle Five. And Sango and Fuma. Yeah. Not a bad team at, at face value, but yeah, not enough. Wow, man. What a way to finish them off.
That's it. And with that nice 2 0 win for Jet Singer and Crashman over Fuma and Sango, these two have now just secured their 10th win. If they can get four more, they'll actually tie M. Rugal and Dante. And they still, and, and it's funny too, because they still have another, um, well, after this, technically, it'll be nine battles. So they, 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 they could easily tie that or even beat it. Well, well, well that's it. Let's see what'll happen for battle number six. All right. Let's see what sort of madness they'll get next as we get Raiden and Skywarp. So they finish in style, at least in the first round anyway. They did it! Wow, they actually will, will, can push this into round three. Wow. That is something else. Round three, surprisingly. Here we go. Very rare that that he, that he does that he does the aerial version of that attack. That's it, man. Well, so there you go, man. Crash, Crash Man and Justin Ray finished that one in style. However, surprisingly enough, defeating Skywarp and Raiden, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but two one. Sheesh. Well, I'll give Raiden and Skywarp credit. They they. They did, they did a fine job. They did it probably about as good as they could have done in that situation. But at any rate, Jet Stingray and Crashman now, now have 11 wins. And, and, and with that said, let's see what happened for match number 7. Hmm, and Chaos and Soul. Good team. Very, very solid team indeed. I know the soul isn't as counter happy though as um as um uh, as um, Uteke's, um, Uteke's soul is. This soul is by by a guy named uh, named uh, Dynamo. Yeah, that's it, man. They 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 got taken down like that. Jeez, freaking quick as a flash. They they only had about a fourth four of their health taken off. Meaning, uh, uh, Jet and Crash Man. Oh, I'm bringing in the Drill Uppercut Special. That's another attack he rarely does. Man, he almost—he almost—he could have fended them off by himself. That's scary. 
And in the end, Jet Singer and Crash Band can claim, claim another victim team, in this case, Soul and Chaos 2 0. That said, that said, they've they now got 12 wins. It's crazy. Man, I'm disappointed in Soul. I mean, granted, granted, granted Diamond Mouse Soul isn't as. Uh, isn't, um, he's really good, but I'll be honest, Micheki Soul is a little bit, Micheki Soul is a little bit better. Especially when it comes to counter, the counter-attacking. Any, 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 any of, um, Mutake's, um, uh, Soul characters, or, uh, Soul what am I saying? Goalie Gear characters are, are, are real, are experts at counter, counter-attacking, so, we need, we need one of them, because then now, now we, now we know that even Diamond Mouse characters can't do it. However, Diamond Mouse Dark Order Soul, he might be able to get the job done, because that was him and Suwako were the ones that, take, that took down Emrugal and Dante. So that said, 12 wins, only two more to tie Emrugal and Dante, and that said, let's see what happened for match number 8. Oh wow, MVC Homero. And Ronald McDonald, oh my god. <laughs> Papa Papa okay. You're welcome, okay. Wow, that was great. Okay, sure, whatever. Boy, he's he's just like canceling into specials like crazy friggin' friggin' Roll is. Like look at that, he's like he's like canceling into everything. That's wrong. Wow! And the mighty Jet Singer and Crash Man have been beaten by Donald Dess's Ronald McDonald and NBC Homero. Friggin' 2-0! Good God! Well, I approve of this team in every way, shape, or form, but man, they could only nab 12 wins! And and the crazy thing is that, e e even though Ronald and Homero technically received their first win by beating them, they only, they, they, they only have now, at this point, uh, another six battles left to go, so let's see if they can make it to the end at this point. Yeah, that, that'll be kind of nice if we can actually end things off on, uh, on Homero and Ronald. So at any rate, I'll queue them up. Well, here we are at the ninth match with Ronald McDonald and MVC Homero as the next team to continue. Oh god. Nakaruru and Anansi. Very good. Not too bad. Sure. Round one, begin. No, that actually missed. That was funny. Really? Freaking Frylight. Really? Two Frylights? The extra lot of Of course. <laughs> Your time has come right here. Yeah, that's what he would have said in the was in English. Oh my god, like... Like, what is up with him canceling into attacks? I've never seen him cancel into attacks this much. Watch it. Aw. Uh, really? Why don't you just cancel into Havagado while you're at it? Oh god, man. Freaking. 
Freaking Ronald, man. Ronald at home, Ronald claim, 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 claiming, claiming a victim yet again, this time in the form of Nakaru and Anansi 2-0. And well, uh, and well, and that said, let's move on to the tenth battle. Shadow Geist and Sun Sun. Oh, there you go. Now, now we're talking, game. Now we're talking. Oh, then again, that's what I thought were freaking Jet Stingray, but no, that, that that proved to be freaking that proved to be a massive failure. Anyway, round one begin. Uh, okay, sure. It's all hammers. Shadow Guy's already dead. Good God. Oh God. Freaking roller dough, but it failed. Man, they made that one easy. Sheesh. Yeah, him turning into a Hulk caused the bomb to explode. That 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 that's what really happened. Something's funny here. Sunshine, you can kind of start using specials, please. Wow! Wow, not a bad job, you two. Round three. That was a flawless! Damn, dude, that was another near. That, that, that was that was a near falls again. This time, freaking Sun Sun and Shadow Geist, freaking completely storming o o over freaking Ronald and Homero. Good God, freaking two one. One of them, one of those rounds being a flawless. Jeez. Man, well, if there's any reason that 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 that, that Donald Des is Ronald is a continuable character, you got it. They got freaking beat by Sun Sun and Shadow Geist. Jeez. Oof. Well, 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 with only, well, well, technically with only four more battles to go, well, let's see if Sun, Sun, and Shadow Guys can go, can go, can finish it out. Well, here we are at battle number 11, Sun, Sun, and Shadow Geist, we're in, ready to go. Wario and Hanzo. This version of Hanzo is not to be effed with. Then again, though, that's what you would think of Donald Dust is wrong, but yet he lost, so round one begin. Yeah, don't be fooled, this Hanzo can beat two people by himself. There it is, man. Man, freaking Dark Orb being finished right there from Shadow Geist. Man, not, 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 nice win. Here comes round two. Oh my God! That oh ho ho man! What a what a rip! What a freaking nasty combo that is! That combo almost completely destroyed them both. Hyper combo finish right there. That that is a rare attack too. Shadow Guys almost never uses that move. Sun Sun and Shadow Guys claim claim another victim. This time Hanzo and Great Wario in a freaking quick fashion 2-0. God man. Well, well, well. That said, bring on battle number twelve. Mew twelve and Kane. Hmm, not bad. These two have some power behind them. They really do. There's some of the some of their specials are nasty. They got him. Wow, Kane and Mew 12, wow. Come on, man, come on, you two. Oh, 
Oh, wow, nice grab from Kane right there. Wow. That, 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 that springboard from Shadow Gaze is, 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 is King, King is one of his more powerful attacks. Going on the Sun Sun. Oh my god! Freaking clutch special from U12! Man, oh man, and her and Kane turn the tables on Sun Sun and Shadow Guys, defeating them 2-0. Wow. I didn't see that one coming. But that, like I said, they have some power behind them, and sure enough, they do. Man, freaking Shadow Guys and Sun Sun, not, 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 not even a match for these two. Man, I, I, I'm telling you, I'm definitely, I need to make a series that has, that has some of these teams going on survival modes, to which I'll, 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 do, I'll do frequent runs of them, because some runs will always, always be better than others. But man, freaking Kane and Kane and Mew 12. Good God. Wow. Well, at any rate, I'll continue Kane and Mew 12. Well, for the last three battles, here we are with Kane and Mew 12, which actually have kind of somewhat of a similar color scheme. That's weird. Kung Fu Stick and Bobby. Good team. Kane and Mew 12, you're going to have one hell of a challenge with this, with this team. is down. That's it. They just barely freaking won that one. Jeez. Man, oh man, was that close. That's it, man. Simultaneous finish right there by means of Kane. And Kane and Mew 12, man. Showing their stuff by defeating the seemingly mighty Bobby and Kung Fu Stick 2-0. Man, claiming yet another victim. And, and with that said, here comes the, here comes the second to last battle. Actually, you know what you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I might, you know, you know, you know, just you know, just for just for giggles. I'm thinking I'm thinking for this part I'm actually gonna gonna push this to twenty to uh to, to uh twenty battles. Cause I really, I really, I wanna see if these two can actually make it to, to, to the end. So yeah, I know. I'm changing the rules yet again, but of course I've done that before, so nothing new. I'll be honest, if they, if they get beaten sooner than that, then probably then I'll just I'll just end it at fifteen. Not career again, this time with Ultimate Eisen. Ugh. The Emerald, the Emerald Sprite edit himself, Ultimate Eisen. Oh wow, freaking freaking simultaneous special. Really? You freaking summon two two of those specials. but I just barely lost that one. Oh, 
Calm you 12 stuff, start doing stuff. Ooh, there you go, that's it. Ultimate Ice is down. Round three it is. Oh my god, man, this is so suspenseful. So freaking suspenseful. That's it, he's gone. Kane and Muto with a freaking amazing freaking comeback over Nakaru and Ultimate Eyes and just barely defeating them overall 2 1. That was a freaking magnificent performance right there from these two. These two are quite a team, I tell ya. Wow. Well, 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 that's it. Here comes the 15th match and possibly the final match. If they get knocked out, then I'll just end it here. And if not, I'll have them go on for another five. Or at least until they die. Well, here we are, guys. There we go. Killer B and Nero. Good team. Oh, man. Man, the spacing powers in Aaron Kill will be proved to be too much in that round. I'll be honest, if they, they get beaten here, I might actually have Nero and Kill will be going for another five. That's it, they got him! The mighty Kane and Mew-12 have fallen to the likes of Nero and Killer B! In a, in a, in a, in a close but quick fashion, 2-0. Good god, man. Nero and Killer B. Very, very good team indeed. Kane and freaking Mew-12 gave it their all. Man, Nero, Nero and Killer B's spacing um, uh, prowess is, is amazing. I mean, I know Nero's is if you've watched Top Kirby's um, battles, and um, uh, he uses him for uh, one versus one. But even in 2 versus 2, Nero's spacing is incredible. Well, in that case, I'll actually have this go on another 5. So, uh, uh, And so, with that said, I'll queue up Nero and Killer B. Well, here we are, man. Nero and Killer B, raring and ready to go. And Rose is back for more, along with Seal. Good team. This, this, will, this will be a good chance to, to... This will be a good chance for their spacing prowess to, to, to be used properly. Ooh, oh, oh, man, what a monster comeback from Seal and Rose. Ooh, 
Oh! Oh man, not bad. Man, man, way to go, Seal and Rose. That's that that's not too shabby at all. Of course, Ro Rose got Rose failed earlier, so this might be a chance for her redemption. Man, she's actually gonna kill a bee with that attack too, and, he, and he's freaking behind her. And the aerial prowess of Seal was too much for him. Jeez. Seal and Rose have taken out now, the, this time, the mighty Nero and Killer B 2 0. Good God. Well, 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 at well, this point, uh, the, uh, the, well, at this point for, for the remainder of this, um, uh, let's see if Seal and Rose can take it now. I'll be very, very curious to find out. Alrighty then, with only, with only about another three or so matches left to go, let's see what Steel and Rose have have up their sleeves this time. As we get Kamikaze Domingo and, and Fallen Balrog, also known as the new Orochi Vega. This is this actually isn't too bad of a team, especially if, if Balrog is really on his A game. Wow, that completely missed Rose. Oh wow! Wow, 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 beautiful lightning, beautiful lightning uppercut. Ooh! Man, check look at Barra go, man. Very nice. Man, Mingo Ming was like the perfect decoy for that match. Wow. Good strategy, I guess. Ooh! Man, dude. Man, man, man Seal's freaking pissed! Hyper counter finish right there. Wow, Seal and Rose are still in this thing, man. Pushing this to round three. Man, I, I was not expecting the kind of intensity from Fallen and Barrow and Domingo, and I'll get into that later. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll see, see Seal, Seal avoided that tomato bomb. And they got him. Wow. Sweet comeback from Seal and Rose, man. They, they, they really wanted that one. In the end, defeating Fallen Barber and Amigo in a very, very nice fashion, 2-1. Man, Seal and Rose, way to go. I'm actually kind of glad I'm, I'm, I'm extending this. So, so with that said, we got a, we, we got about another... A, a, after this match coming up, there'll be another... I believe another three or two. At, at any rate, I'll, uh, I'll continue this. Well, here we are at the 18th match. Let's see what we get. Juggernaut! Oh, 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 oh my god! That is not even right. Gilgamesh and Juggernaut, that is... That's a team. That is a team. A very, very brutally nasty team. Man.
That's it. Man, just like that, man. The Mighty Seal and Rose have been swiftly taken out by the likes of Gilgamesh and Juggernaut freaking 2-0. Good god damn. Well, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, you know what? I, w I was going to only make it two matches, but I think I, I think I think I'll have it go on for three more because I am really curious to see if, if the game will screw them over or not. Oh, it better. If not, well, yeah, no big deal. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it does. Well, here we are, at battle number nineteen with Gilgamesh and Juggernaut as the team to go. Hmm, Goki and Kyo. Mm. Man, Kia didn't do bad. He he did pretty damn decent for himself. Man, that's it. Really, Ogamesh? Really? Well, sure thing. Well, so Gilgamesh and Juggernaut obviously take that battle 2-0. Well, well, so that said, let's see what the last two battles will be like. Geese Howard, and here the title is! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you guys have no idea how happy I am to see Arrow Tiger Woods right now. Oh my god. Lost victory. Rightly so. What? That was not? Wow. Tiger Woods and Geese Howard have done it, and, uh, and it's kind of funny too because, well, at that point I kind of figured it was sudden death. And since this is Air Tiger Woods, this actually is a good spot to call it a, to call it a tournament around and a tournament. Hope you guys all 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 enjoyed the new style tournament. I'm basically going to be keeping this style till I no longer do them anymore. And well, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed, and um, and that and at that point, stay tuned for random Mugen, for random Mugen battle number one thousand. And then, and then after that, any other stuff that I do. So, that's it. I'll catch you guys later.